Hey, good morning everyone. This is Anne from the Sheepdog and the Medium and I'll be coming to you today from beautiful Orlando, Florida at the Sheraton Vistana Resort where we will be doing today's tarot with the beautiful steampunk tarot. Woo, steampunk tarot. I love this deck, folks. This is one of my favorite go-tos and yes, I know I have so many favorites, but come on. Who doesn't love this deck? I mean, come on, how could you not? It has so many cool images in it. Let me flip it over so you can get a kind of a glimpse at it. But here we have the world and the lovers and it's all done in this beautiful steampunk imagery. And boy, is it fan freaking fantastic. By the way, Willoughby, our sheepdog, is not here. He's in Pennsylvania. So shout out to Willoughby in the comments because he loves hearing from you. He usually comes in to pick a card at the end, and we might be able to do that if we feel spirits longing for some certain card to be recognized. And as you know, as a medium, I do allow spirit to pick the cards. That would be our first one, the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups, nice. Let's be moving right along and see who is next. Which card is spirit going to point to is this one. And that would be the Seven of Swords. This card has come up so many times in our readings lately. I have a feeling that it is so supernatural and needs to be pointed out because somebody out there needs to be recognizing that, that Seven of Swords. It's somehow related to somebody's life that's been tuning in or when you do tune in, just because I may have recorded this a year or two ago, doesn't mean that it doesn't apply to you right this second because you are watching it means that spirits of the spirit when i say spirit i mean those people that are guiding and helping you in spirit that means in heaven in the light are telling you right now pay attention to these cards today if you're on this channel it is for a reason my friends let's put our steampunk tarot aside and start with our reading First of all, let's look at that Queen of Cups. Queens, my friends, are typically very patient women. She is in a beautiful steampunk, golden and brown robe, and she's got her uh, chalice, hold, hold that chalice way up there, lady, because this time it's important. You need to be that patient person that has the emotional stability that it takes to keep moving forward. When you see a queen, you think of patience and stability and pretty much queen's rule. Kings are better, but kings get the queen, so the queens get the reign of the, of the relationship as well. So get this, my friends. Patience, steady as she goes. This queen is on her way to great great things and as you see in the background she is surrounded by clouds she's holding that chalice of love way up in the air so be patient emotionally with who is around you at this point because that is very important now as we go to the seven of swords we see this lovely lady walking away with her her swords in her hand and you have two more swords up here in the logo with the eye and this is significant because we may be walking away from something that we don't know what to do about. Maybe this is something that indicates that we're leaving behind something that we're not always sure about. I know the last one that we did, we were talking about maybe a loved one that had passed or maybe two loved ones that had passed because of the two swords that look almost like crucifixes or crosses that you know, could be sometimes in the cards there in the ground, sometimes they're up here, but we're also looking at her walking away with these swords and that's an action card, my friends. If she's willing to keep moving and she's willing to, to walk away, she's gotta pay attention to where she's going instead of ignoring what happened in the past. So patience with the emotional person that's having some troubles, maybe, maybe it's you, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's your parents or a loved one, but you have somebody that has an emotional, conditional relationship that needs a lot of patience right now. And you have somebody that's walking away, looking at the past. Maybe they can't get over something that happened to them. Maybe they're not really re relationship oriented. Maybe they're trying too hard to make themselves look good and they just can't, 
fit in the way they used to. Try so hard to be patient with that person, especially if it's yourself. Lastly, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which means knights are typically men that like, look at this guy. I know he came up in our last reading when we did uh, steampunk because I remember looking at that, uh, that canteen. So spirit is definitely pointing to this particular type of relationship where you have a knight who may be your knight in shining armor. He's walking forward, but he's still taking a drink from that canteen. He is still steaming forward. He is moving. He is acting to get to somewhere. And in this card, he is looking at the monetary or the physical relationship that it takes to get to where he needs to go. So this can be very telling if you have something going on where somebody deserves a lot of patience right now, maybe they don't see everything the way they should, but you have to help them move forward. You have to get them to a new place. You have to tell them that this is a time to keep steaming forward and not to feel sorry for themselves, not to feel sad and not to feel alone. This person has friends. This person has somebody that's with them that is trying to help them. So that is that relationship right there. I want you all to look back in your life and think about the time that one person came out of nowhere to help you. Who was that person? Who did that to you? And then go forward and help somebody else because someone paid it forward for you to be able to help someone else. So when you get to that relationship, just honor and love them for who they are and never mind what happened in the past because they are no longer available to beg for indifference about the past. They need you to see and decide that they are still human, they are still loved, and they are still needed in your life. If you guys have anyone that meets that criteria, please like, subscribe, and Tell me in the comments because I might have a thought or feeling from spirit that might relate to that. Thank you all for joining today. Willoughby's favorite card is the Queen of Cups because of her patience and beauty and the fact that she is holding up that chalice to honor everyone's love. Uh, Willoughby, if I haven't mentioned it already, he's out in Pennsylvania, but we will see him soon. I promise he's going to be back. And if you haven't seen our short on Willoughby in the Florida snowstorm, I'm sorry, the Florida snowstorm, the Florida dog in the Pennsylvania snowstorm, go ahead and go on my channel and look for that short because it's adorable and you get to see him as a full grown pup from a pup to a dog now. And we will be seeing you next time. Bye everyone. Peace and see you later. Come on over here. Join us on Come all on our adventures here. with the sheepdog and the medium.